treasury team or you as a person you know you are managing your funds you keep it deploying your funds in mutual fund share market equity bank or oh, sorry in equity shares or the fd into the bank or the savings bank account so all this fall under the treasury management the management of funds so treasury team who is working for the corporate also manages funds for the corporate so treasury involves the management of money and financial risk in a business not only the management of money or the return part of it but also the risk part of it always remember return and the risk go hand in hand if you are making any investment even if you are simply keeping your money into the bank into savings bank account it also has a risk because tomorrow bank can fail although the probability of that happening is very remote so uh, it, it's like not even 1% of the probability right uh, but still um, uh, whenever you invest you know your money it still has a risk of uh, your principal not coming back or you not getting desired returns as you thought of in the beginning of the investment right so what is the role of treasury to manage money and to manage the financial risk so its priority is to ensure the business has money it needs to manage day to day business obligations okay so man, uh, treasury management helps to mobilize funds for day to day operations day to day business obligations now also develop long term strategy in the policies mostly treasury team deals with the day to day activities or the short term obligations short term funds availability but sometimes it helps in the long term financial strategy and policies as well so whenever you are think just think about a company who is having a treasury team uh, who is preparing the cash forecast on a continuous basis how much is the cash that the business will generate out of the sales made uh, how much is the cash that we need to pay at the procurement or the purchasing side be it raw material be it manpower salaries uh, be it any other maintenance repairs expenditures or consumables you know a manufacturing industry needs to pay all the expenditure produce a finished goods and then sell it to the market so this cycle of cash uh, is maintained by the treasury team it's look it looks very simple on the paper but practically the cycle is very <coughs> tough and there should be accuracy in the cash forecast that the treasury team is preparing once treasury team prepares the cash forecast treasury team shares this forecast uh, with the corporate finance team that boss this is the excess uh, funding that we have this is the incremental cash that we have if we want to incur uh, or or put an investment uh, into new machinery 6 months from now because we are developing a new product portfolio for which we'll be requiring the import of the machinery we have already given orders to the vendor it will be arriving in 6 months from now so at that time we will be requiring to pay the money but our money is spare for next 6 months so why not to put that money into use okay so this information is given by the treasury team to the corporate finance team and then corporate finance team make the choice of investment decisions so there are lot of hundred thousands of investment opportunities available into the market various financial instruments various companies um, shares of the other companies various global companies you know all the investment opportunities are taken care or evaluated by the corporate finance team and then the funds are placed as of now this is just the base setting that we are doing what are the functions and roles of treasury because everything of the finance starts with the treasury team treasury team again looks on paper very simple but it's a very critical task to manage each and every operations and analyze funds coming out of it so treasury team does all of that so if you see on this slide okay before moving on to the next slide guys pausing here if you have any quick question on the uh, uh, basic context setting that we have done right sir sorry Yeah. Okay. Pausing here for ten seconds. If anybody has any question, so like uh, difference, a uh, treasury team and corporate team, which aspects were they both cover? So, uh, uh, like I said, the main difference is short-term decision making with regard to the funds deployment is taken by the treasury. all the ground work with regard to the fund management how much fund availability cash flow management working capital management i will explain you in detail what is working capital most of you would already know but just for the best interest of everybody so all this is done ground work is done by the treasury team and then treasury team comes with the solution that we have this much of the money finally then this much of the money where to invest how to invest from the long term point of view decision is taken by the corporate finance team some of the whereas in few organizations which are small in nature they they you know can't afford or their organization is not that big to have two separate teams so there is one finance team who is taking care for both the uh, 
uh, treasury function and the corporate finance function as well. So this is the prime difference. Um, uh, corporate finance team deals with the long-term decision making, which are critical decisions which paves a path for the company's future. Whereas treasury team works on uh, the getting the ground works done, which is again very critical and very tough uh, from practical point of view. And treasury team, in on the other hand, also takes some short-term uh, investment decisions with regard to parking of money. Not only here, if the business needs some money, let's say business is short of money, business is making losses. So in order to arrange the working capital, internal reserves have been, you know, um, dehydrated and the reserves uh, are not available. Or even though company has a strong uh, financial statements with good assets, all the reserves have been invested, but they don't have short term liquidity position, right? In order to manage the working capital. So that crunch of working capital is being also maintained, arranged by the treasury team. So treasury team has a very important function, very critical and very <laughs> ownership driven function, wherein treasury team has to ensure right amount of working capital is available into the organization. So since we are touching working capital, I'll explain you that as well. So working capital is a, just a difference between the current assets and current liabilities. What is current assets? That gives you value in short term period. So which can be easily liquidated in cash. Current liabilities are the liabilities for us that we have to pay into the current future. 